Good morning. Welcome to the Scrap and Pallet Man channel. Now the truck is not empty. Not this part. Wow, that's old school right there. Got a bed frame, that might be brass. I don't see any, um, yeah, rust. <laughs> Unlike this bed frame has rust over it. Sorry, lady. Didn't mean to take your vehicle out with a bed frame. Yeah, I gotta fill these up. That truck just sounds beefy. I'm digging it. Might be one of those <laughs> diesel trucks converted to burn kitchen oil. <laughs> I do. I do think it's. Oh uh, no, that's rust. It's not. That's brass. Bro, brass is like what? A dollar seventy a pound? Something crazy. That's that's good five pounds. That's good ten dollar bill right there. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. That is a Paul-sized dumpster. Maybe. I think I probably could get out if I had to. Oh, oh you see that? That's how you get locked out. What? Wow. Those are like old Molex connectors for a... Uh, um, a mobile home. Yep. Molex connectors or T connectivity. Ooh, there's some copper there, brew. Copper. <laughs> oh, yeah, this box might have to go with me. These things, not so much. Yeah, that's steel, I think. Oh, yeah. Oh. You know what I'm gonna do? It's a dump screen right here, so. Put the metal out this way. work Let's see I'm what 270 maybe 260 something this says 268 yeah that works what stuff but yeah I like this analog scale not a big fan of dinging vehicles what else is in here yeah that like I don't know what those are oil caps of some sort a lot of wood, some microwave, and it was that old mini bike. What is that? Oh, it's a mini, mini, mini bike. That's a micro bike. 
That's a nano bike, Paul. Oh yeah? It's a Pico bike. Pico bike's coming with me. <clears throat> Pico bike. What else is there? An old school mop bucket and a janky pallet. Whoever packed this dumpster did it really well. I mean, it's like it's neatly done. Well done, folks. Well done. Can I get you? Don't fall. But I want to be recycled. There's got to be recycled. Can I do it? What's in it? Whatever it is, like broken glass or something. Yeah. Sorry about the struggle here. I gotta do that vinegar trick with my cutters. That'll clean them right up. And I found some vinegar in the dumpster. I don't know, a month or two ago, it's at my shop. Yeah, I'm not pulling that guy out. Hmm. Oh, welcome, Matt. My buddy Rick would have a field day in here. He'd be tearing this whole thing up. <clears throat> yeah, whoever packed this dumpster just packed it. That's so good. There's no way I'm getting that thing out. Or that. Or even that um, part of a that compressor, uh, sealed unit. All right, one more look over in this general area and we'll call it a day. Oh, copper. A lot of oil. Is that for a diesel truck? Those like spark plug in, I don't know. That just looks familiar, but I can't quite place it. Same with those. Who knows? I don't. What is that? Irony goodness. Oh, no way. Oh. That's some irony nope. That was so frustrating. Seriously. It's like a flywheel for something. All right, we're out here. AMC Pacer. My parents had one of those. 1976. I think the car was junk by 79. So the, the place with the Pacer is called Old School Pizza. And it's literally an old school. <laughs> I love a double entendre. Or play on words or whatever you want to call it. You know, like, yeah, man. Paul, you're old school. I know, but I'm not an old school. Get in my truck. Ooh, that's some cold wind. 
Yep, this is not light. This is not stompable steel. Yeah, you've heard of stainless steel? Now you've heard of stompable steel. That's not it. Let me make a little bit of room here. Pico bike. <laughs> yeah. A little better. Oh, I hear a train. That's for sure. Oh, totally come apart. Oh, that's not quite what I meant to do. Oh. <laughs> Freak me out, dude. I guess I gotta take it the rest of the way apart. Not sure how though. How does this thing work? So it does just go down. Again. <clears throat> right, I got a little mess going on here. A little mess, a lot of mess. Wow, so they're just they're not fastened, they're like set. Oh, that's scary. loose it's kind of like how my life goes I don't quite know what I'm doing I wing it and it all just kind of worked out that's everybody's life Paul true none of us have it all together that's for sure but hey Definitely can learn from others. Don't want the lawnmower hitting this. It's not super cold out, but the wind just makes it just crazy frigid. That's better. Tied up, tucked back there. That's good. Is this a washing machine? All right, I'm blocking traffic. That's right. We're gonna do the, the curb lift method, if I can. All right, put on my blankers. My blankers. I'm gonna take my keys with me. I don't wanna get locked out. And the only reason I do this is so I, uh, it's lower. It's a little bit above knee height. Knee how, ma? Knee height. Ooh. That's how I learned to, to say 
hello in Mandarin Chinese <laughs> was literally like ni and then how, like how do you do something? And then like ma, as in your mother, my mother, <laughs> ma. Ni hao, ma. Yeah, that's Mandarin Chinese for hello. Or it's a greeting, I'm, I don't know the exact translation. Someone else told me it's like, it's, it's like nin, nin hao, ma. Ni hao, ma. All right, if I go on the back, these are gonna catch, so. Yeah. <laughs> these be straight, huh? There we go. And I definitely want it to be upright. that up. <laughs> we'll leave it there for now. Ooh. Can they get through? They can. Good stuff. I really want it to warm up. It's supposed to get warmer today. But it is uncomfortably cold and a little windy. Something, if you follow my Instagram, you already know this uh, from yesterday. But I have a wonderful, beautiful soul of a dog now. Yes. And I have always been of the mindset that I am going to wait for the dog to find me. I don't, I'm not going to go out and just get a dog. So, uh, yeah, that happened. Um, an old neighbor friend of mine, um, she got a dog uh, three-ish years ago for her husband, and her husband passed away. And uh, so she's had this <laughs> just amazing dog. And I saw her two days ago, and she's like, Paul, how are you doing? I'm like, I'm doing good. How's Olivia doing? And she said, um... Olivia's doing great, um, but I am moving and I need to find Olivia a home. Would you like Olivia? She straight out said that. And I said, I've loved Olivia since the day I met her. So the answer is yes, but let me talk with some family members first. And uh, yeah. So here's some footage from this morning uh, with Olivia. You feeling good? I love you. I love you. You are so nice. You are a nice girl. Yes, you are. <laughs> Is it too early for you? Is it too early for you? Do you know what these are? These are keys to the scrapmobile. Olivia is the greatest. Yes, she's going through a little transition though, um, because since she was two months old, she has lived with this family, um, and she's never lived in another house before with anybody else before. So, yeah, the first night she was she was sad, and um, but the second night, yeah, she did great, and um, you know, slept through the night, and it's just yeah. So we're going through a transition. That's an opossum. What are you doing out here, dude? Seriously. I hope you're not sick. Are you okay? Oh no, he's good. Bye, opossum. Hmm. <laughs> What's going on here? shoes look a little beat up that's metal enough thanks Costco man that looks like old-school um, baby chair thing 
I don't think Costco was around back then. Unless there was a, it is, has been around since back then. I just don't know it. Here. Probably should push this, whoa. Some attack welded that? Dude, have you ever tried a bead? It worked a little bit better. This is the coolest bridge. Yeah, even though it's really icy, there's still geese around. 20 seconds of tranquility. And geese. Is it just two? No. This isn't so tranquil. <laughs> Our 20 seconds have turned into a goose fight. I know, I'm not very happy with the ice either. Don't worry, spring is right around the corner. You all need some tranquility. Dumpster diving and trash picking in the rich neighborhoods. And what is this? Is that a CD player? Or a heater? I don't know what it is. You know what? I think I'm gonna keep it. Test it. See what it is. It does? Really loud. Okay, and it's a heater, right? Yep. Okay. It's just when we turn it on, the fan is super loud. It's just annoying and... Yeah, so okay. my husband didn't want to mess with it, so... Did, has it, was it loud since the first day you got it? No. Okay, so it's just started making some racket with a fan? Yep. Okay, cool, thank you. <laughs> It'd be rude if I just set it back down. But hey, if it's just a fan... Was a CD player. That's a bit silly. Stay. These folks are awesome. Leaving their scrap out. Thank you. And squirt guns. No way. You can never have enough squirt guns. I'm from Las Vegas. It gets hot. We need squirt guns. I remember in third grade, my teacher, Miss, Mrs. Musket, she uh, stepped on my squirt gun, broke it. She was mad I brought it. Oh, this one's not good. It's missing the trigger. That's not missing. Squirt gun! I think the DeWalt's in here. Oh. Isn't it funny how we still remember stuff from third grade, second grade, first grade? I remember my first day of kindergarten. I do. My mom walked me to school and we had to stand in line. I didn't want to stand next to a girl. <laughs> I still remember that. I'm like, no, I don't know her. It's a girl. Well, one thing at least. Let's get it. It's kind of a nice shelf. Looks like it attaches to the wall there. Them gooses. I don't think they ever left. They didn't migrate to the south. Wow, they're pretty high up there. You see that? Them gooses are loud. Saw a couple things. Get in my truck. Is that all clothes? Hmm. Alright, let's donate. That's all clothes. I can see it. Alright. Get some clothes donation, I think. 
to the Batman outfit. Huskies. All right. Go, Nate. I can smell that it's clean. It has a clean laundry smell. Still all folded. Yeah, bed bugs usually don't make it out of the dryer. Just saying. Need more metal? Maybe. Nope. It's plastic. Ooh. Get in my truck. That's not trash at all. Recyclable. Now. Hmm. Yeah, let's handle this right now. Or try to, anyway. Go vertical. Can I do it? Part. It really gives me a hard time. Don't you dare. <laughs> I know you want to bonk me in the head. Scrap's getting froggy on me. Hey, good morning. How you doing? I'm doing good, thanks. You need help with that? No, I think I got it. I got a couple tricks up my sleeve. Oh, okay. Thank you, though. Okay. Yeah, this one was well drained, so it shouldn't be an issue. Plus it's, you can tell the diameter is smaller than a lot of the other ones. So. Should be good.
messed it up. It's a garage door opener thing in my jig. Get in my truck, get in my truck. La 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 la. <laughs> Where's the rest of it? Not there. Still have plenty of room. Man, sun's coming out. Wind has slowed. Get a full size truck, they said. It'll be fun, they said. All right, Salvation Army drop off those clothes. Man, it's definitely becoming a nicer day out. That's for sure. Hello, hello. Got some clothing for you. You doing good? <laughs> Better today. All right. That was Monday. You were here Monday, right? Yeah, I was yeah. here Monday, yeah. Yep. You have a good memory. I'll see you later. Remember the truck. Okay. Hey, yeah, you remember the the junk. <laughs> hey, we're making money on it. Yes, sir. That's what it's all about, right? Yeah. Thanks a lot. Right, see you later. I see. Another scrap pile. Where are my gloves? Come here. Is that the gingerbread house? Hmm. All right, what do we got here? Cable? Ooh. Yeah, sometimes the scrapyard does not want this. But I can ship to a washing machine where it's not going to be a nuisance. You don't want nuisance scrap. Hey. Um. <laughs> it opens from the side. Don't these open from the front? Let's take a walk around first. So I see a little weight bench. That's metal. That's plastic. Sprangs. Yes, please. It's going into the washer. Are they throwing away a garbage can? <laughs> it's like a garbage can in the garbage can. Hmm. These are screws. Looks brand new. All right, so that's going into the washing machine. Finish looking around. Chemicals, garage chemicals, yeah. Torch fuel. Yeah, that's not that's not quite what you need to be throwing away. You don't need torch fuel in a garbage can. I'll bet they're not gonna take this. I'll bet they won't take it. What is this? Gaps and cracks. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to take that. DeWalt. Huh. Yeah. Going to the washer. Huh. That's a nice bucket. Buckets. I got enough buckets. Just want more buckets. Oh, 
Okay, what else is going on over here? Anything interesting? What is that? A circuit breaker of some sort. Probably. Nope, just metal. All right, I'll take it. Hey, I like that. It's going with me. I know what this is. It's a truck line thing, I think. Yeah, I think it's for snapping truck lines. stuff in here. It's mine. I think with them being green like that, they're they're lower voltage. Okay. But these contractor bags are full of goodies. Metal. Not metal. Is this that PEX stuff for water? Aluminum. <clears throat> this might be steel. I don't really know. I hear some kind of bird. I think that's a sick goose. Stainless? Nope, that's steel. No, it's a crane. Wow. That's aluminum. Yeah, that's not magnetic. All right, you're going in the back of the truck or I'll forget. Oh, well. One last look. Should pop a little hole. That's a little one. Pillows and stuff. Springs. I gotta use both hands. Six thousand six hundred pounds. So yeah, six thousand seven hundred pounds. Yeah, I'm gonna up my guess. Whoa, 6,820. Boom! 60, uh, 6840? Yeah, I, ha I have been gaining weight. All right, where am I scrapping? In the bins, I guess? 
Oh, we're back up though, no matter what. These guys are holding the scrap big time. Look at those cubes. Cubes, man. This one is a uh, entire file cabinet. <laughs> Look at that thing. That's just a solid chunk of scrap right there. <sighs> All right, I need to untie this and get it off the truck. That's the part that messes me up because when I go vertical, right here. Yeah, I'll back it up a few. Yeah, this is all gonna go falling. Yeah, that's the only part about going vertical like this. It's a, it's a falling hazard. off the truck quickly. Oh. I think I ran over by the tracks. didn't it? Full of stuff. Now it's gonna fall upside down, spill all of its contents. Yeah, let's get rid of this hazard stuff first. Getting rid of the brass. I hang on to that. Wow, I just mashed my hand so hard. <clears throat> I felt a shockwave. It was this up against that. <sighs> Little stuff hurts now. Oh, he's got to craw. It's the craw. Stay. Beware of killer scrap. I know this is kind of a cool bike. Sorry, Pico bike. Keeping the wires, keeping the brass.
think we're good. Is he calibrating the claw? Get out to see. And 6260. 6260. So three, that's 540 pounds? Yeah, 540. Whoa. I don't want to step on your clean floor. Okay, thank you. What's, What's up, up, Michael? Don't talk to me? Yeah, he said he's gonna go get you. You didn't see him? 540 pounds of shred. 140 pounds? No, 540. 540. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah. Where's, um, where's the gang at? No one's with you. Please. I know. I was thinking about bringing my new dog. Really, you got a puppy? Yeah, well, she's three and a half years old. Yeah, she's a big girl too. She's a what is, what is she with a 70 pound Staffordshire Terrier. I have no idea what that is. Also known as a pit bull. Ah, oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah, she's awesome though. I've known her for a while because it's it was my old neighbors. 540, you said, right? Yeah. 540. Yeah, we didn't 60. 800 and weighed out at 6260. Uh, 540 long? Si. Yeah. Nice. If my math is right, sometimes my math is wrong. <laughs> uh, you're all right. So what's going on in your world? Just driving everybody crazy, you know. Man, when I, when I had uh, Lonnie in here, man, you inspired him. Seriously. Yeah. I feel like I was too aggressive. No, man. You, do, you know, because sometimes, you know, we get discouraged. And you saw that discouragement, and you're like, no, stop that right now. You are you are amazing. You're awesome. You're you're a killer, man. You're da uh, da da. You just let him have it. I was like, what? Preach it. He's a, he's a good kid, man. Yeah, no doubt. 66. I appreciate you, man. I'll see you on Yeah. Day. All right. Oh, it's turning out to be nice. Try not to get ran over. So what do we got here? $67.50, 540 pounds of shred iron, $250 a net ton, which is 12 and a half cents a pound for appliance shredder scrap. And thank you, Jesus. Thank you for this day. Thank you for this time. Lord, thank you for, uh, for changing hearts and changing mindsets, Lord. It is so easy for me to get discouraged, but you are in the encouragement business, Lord. Continue to encourage us. In the name of Jesus, I pray. We need you, Lord. Amen. Let's take a look at my old house where I was living by the train tracks and that coal chute. Now, my old house is, is being, it's a corporate rental now. And this front house that my ex-wife and daughter were living in, it's being converted. So, uh, yeah. Hey, hey. So yeah, let's check this out. So right now, um, <laughs> this sounds crazy, but it's true. Facebook is renting this out. There is a, um, one million square foot data center and facebook um has that and uh, so that's actually a corporate rental right now 
And uh, yeah, I just thought you'd check out the old coal chute. Uh, it's awesome. But also right now, they're redoing, re completely rehabbing this front one. And uh, so it's not mine, it's my ex-wife's, um, my kid's mom. So yeah, so it's still like, uh, you know, we still, or they, she still owns it, but yeah, it's all getting redone. Yeah, so that, that's gonna be amazing. They, she has some plans, basically there's, that's this bathroom right here. That's getting completely redone. The kitchen's getting completely ripped out, all new kitchen. They're doing some stuff with the floor, kind of like this one. So exactly a year ago, if you look back in some of my videos, you'll see this one was completely rehabbed. So it's all like brand new on the inside. Good stuff.